which I briefly spoke about. Uh, I have uh, two kids, uh, Veland and Widward, uh, of 20 and 14, uh, keep me uh, occupied. Uh, my better half uh, uh, also is from my uh, She would hopefully be meeting you next year. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, I said memories are hurt, so please don't ask me. Uh, we one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Uh, we had some lovely, lovely time with the faculty here, and we have a lot of stories for us as well. It's a pleasure to be back every time at IFM, and uh, we really appreciate um, uh, the always public. And we look forward to hopefully over the next uh, couple of years that we are active. I'm active. Uh, that I'll, I'll be coming back. Thanks so much. Next, I would like to invite Mr. Vinit Rai. I would actually stick to memories uh, because I have a lot And nobody, my batchmates as such, they didn't give me the opportunity to talk about the memories. So, so I'll take you through my memories. I was, <laughs> I was, I was actually a fairly mediocre guy and I knew pretty early I'm mediocre. I lied with uh, everything I was mediocre. Intellectually, I was very mediocre also. Fastness. Was. 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 What did I say? It is a word. Was. It, is a word. Was. It, was. it continues. <laughs> <laughs> so, I actually came to IFM because uh, Jayesh's father, Jayesh and I know each other before we came to IFM, saw me loitering around in Jodhpur on a bicycle after my graduation doing nothing. And he was very concerned that <laughs> Rai So he actually filled my form for IFM. Uh, that time IFM was not CAT and I always thought CAT was very little. I actually came to IFM and met Anish Kumar who had got through three IMs, right? So anyway, uh, I came for the interview. I somehow cleared the return and came to the interview and immediately bonded with a thin slightly taller guy than me, called Ram Narayan. Uh, both of us were very confident that we were bottom of the group. <laughs> we were also very confident that there is a very limited chance we will get through. So we started scheming together. There is something called a group discussion. And we had a couple of, uh, well, one was a very hot looking girl. I, think I forgot. I think Rami would remember both of us were looking at her and saying, You the Hogi Aska, the Hogi Aska, the chance. They were looking at a stern girl also in Angu. Okay. This articulate and stern girl would actually shut us up every time either of us tried to open our mouth. <laughs> this was when we were pre group discussions. We were actually trying to make a point and she would shut us up. So, uh, so Ram and I actually plotted that we will go into the group discussion and go after her. That girl is actually in this room. <laughs> and, <laughs> and she is nodding her head. <laughs> so as the group discussion started, both of us tried to open our mouth and she went after us. <laughs> And for the whole two years, <laughs> most after we get selected, we were kept shut by her presence. <laughs> her name is Ratna, Ratna Shrivastav, now Sunna actually. The lady and, uh, referred to earlier. Hmm? Ah, the other one, the hot one. The hot one. The hot one. The hot one. The one that I was talking about went to I am Bangalore, she didn't join by the way, she got through. You said, yeah, of course, what do you think? I am an IHC, not even now. So, so I landed up here and uh, I have individually spent significant time with each one of my bachelors. Uh, uh, there were many things. Uh, I had this. Uh, uh, I actually came in with the ambition that first time in my life, my top career, I will show you the first time I have studied. 
उसके बाद मुझे लगा कि निर्वाणा जो है उसके बाद मैं चार मिनट करना बंद कर दिया यहाँ पे मेरे प्यार थे प्रोफेसर हैंडी प्रोफेसर रेखा सिंह जो डॉटर्स मोस्ट अदर्स जो डॉटर्स प्रोफेसर विश्वास ने सुना है अच्छा सोना आपने पढ़ा है and I used to sit next to her because she was the top one. <laughs> and I knew, and we used to sit right. So there were only three people who used to sit in the first first row. Everybody was their benches. I used to sit in center. One side would be Paul Basil, and the other <laughs> side would be Ratna. And they were rank one and two or three between Gupta, Ratna, and so now Gupta, you were back bencher, so I won't name you. <laughs> but we were the three sitting right under the nose of every professor, and I will doze off within three minutes. <laughs> and Ratna will keep it. Ulo, ulo. <laughs> and then went on till I stopped going to the classes. I also remember there was a quantitative technique professor who, at the end of the class, actually asked, "Who is this brother beneath me?" The fact that I passed without attending goes gives a lot of credit to the uh, the assistants here who used to manage to let me slip my signature and all that. I won't disclose the name. <laughs> Uh, there are some lovely memories of playing cricket. Uh, there are some lovely memories of actually. I don't think the faculty would have lovely memory of playing cricket with my team. I did actually took my entire team off a faculty match <laughs> and was really. It was actually I think so the fourth of the year. We had a dispute with the faculty and we were playing the cricket match and Professor Biswas was batting and I felt that we have a serious dispute. With the empire refused to acknowledge, so I threatened the faculty that I will take my team off, <laughs> and this is all eventually better. <laughs> and I actually walked up to the team. We stopped the tractor, put the whole team into the tractor, and came back to our match with the university. So we did some really ridiculous stuff. Uh, but uh, coming back to post post IFM, I actually uh, I was not supposed I was supposed to struggle to get a job because of all the turning things that I had done. Uh, and I actually distinctly remember Professor Petya coming and saying, "If this guy gets a job, Russians don't believe in God. But when they came to India, they started believing. And if Vinith gets a job, then I'll start believing in God or something like that." I was one of the first few guys who got a job. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it had nothing to do with my caliber. They only asked me one question. Odisha gayo. I had actually been to Odisha for five months, so I got selected because I did. I was sent to Odisha twice. Uh, I went to Balarpur, uh, and I was very happy chasing elephants. Uh, it was such a great life. You had to do nothing. I had a bullet motorcycle, and I had a jeep, and I did everything possible to drive the jeep up down. Uh, saw the trucks turn, but I also had 2,500 people who worked with me. So learned quite a lot. Then I got married uh, to a very beautiful girl. And note that, please make sure that she knows. I'm not getting brownie points with them. Right? Once you get married, you, know. so you can have to see all the good things. Uh, I have a beautiful wife. <laughs> Jumping up, going down, doing many other things, but uh, leaving those details aside, uh, I was trying to look for a job from the forest. Found it very difficult to get a job because if you are in a forest, you get a, uh, a, a, a paper which is 15 days old. So by that time, I used to apply, the jobs were gone. Uh, so I was actually handed over a job literally by I am Ahmedabad. I rushed out, lived there for eight months, realized I am Ahmedabad was crap, so I decided to quit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I am actually very honest. Uh, I realize the guys have no perspective of the world. Uh, they only were after money. So, so my my qualification for them was quite low in any case. Uh, I got a job by mistake. Uh, the government of Gujarat was setting up an incubator, and I applied for the post of uh, manager because in Balarpur, manager was a senior position. Uh, and funnily, they couldn't find a CEO, so they made me the CEO. I ran that incubator <laughs> for four years, reported to the chief minister, uh, learned a lot of things, and then I figured out that my job was to convert ideas into businesses. And uh, I had this great learning that every Indian carries 10 ideas behind their back pocket. So ideas had no value. Uh, every person I went and met wanted to actually money. And uh, so I said, well, let's find money. Went to my board, told them, guys, idea has no value. People are looking for money, so give me money so that I can give money. Uh, of course, the government kicked me out. And uh, <laughs> so I quit my job in 2001, and with 5,000 rupees, I decided to actually become a venture capitalist. Uh, uh, generally defined, and venture capital definition was simple. Eh? Begani Shadi Mein Abdullah Diwana. It is somebody else's money. You give it to somebody else to create value. And you, your job is only to take it from here and give it to somebody. And, and in the process, and this is actually my great vision, I wanted to make poor people rich. Uh, 18 years have passed since then. I struggled very badly because I had no clue what IRR was, what finance was. But I was very committed to the idea of, uh, idea of making poor people rich. Poor have remained poor, uh, but I have distributed close to a billion dollars. Uh, I don't know who I made rich, uh, but the fact is 25 years has passed, that means a lot of time has passed as well. Uh, a lot of things have happened, uh, and the best thing is that we are back here to discuss with you how the world has evolved. Uh, I'll stop here because I don't think so. I want to take you through the world and uh, how it has evolved. <laughs> But I think this institute has uh, some great memories. Uh, some of them, and uh, that was up my personal request, uh, some of them are serious eyesores in terms of development. Uh, this institute, when I came here, I joined this institute because the building is so beautiful. Unfortunately, there are some serious eyesores on this beautiful architectural marvel that has been created. If there is a way, can that be corrected? Because it will at least give us some respect of at least claiming that we have the most beautiful building in this country. Uh, and I will stop here. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. That was session. Our next speaker would be Mr. Anish Kumar. Yay! Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>
this space made me as Pradeep keeps saying, if you marry up your class, you become a better human being. I had the opportunity and privilege to marry someone much above my class. My wife, Madhu, is truly an inspiration to me and has helped me anchored in the work that I continue to do. So in some ways, both as a person and as a professional, I have made me. I am grateful to the faculty, to my terrific uh, batch, which and the facilities here. Apart from the ISOs, uh, one of the best library faculty which encouraged you to be yeah, serious also and at the same time uh, a question also. So in some ways, uh, that's what makes us uh, realize our calling. Not so much what the degree does, but it's setting in the with the peer group, with the faculty, with library, and that's what we go and make in our life. Thank you.